Hi, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition V2. No, no VR. Um, Stanley Parable 2, whatever. I'm a little bit thrown by this opening's ever so slightly different in my headset again. We've got the twisty corridor, but normally it's kind of on a flat screen in front of me, but now this time I'm actually traveling down the corridor, so I have no idea what's going on. I'm hoping it's recording properly. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked. Right, we can skip that. I think we can skip that. I think we're okay skipping that at this point. So, what am I going to do today? Um, where did I go? Where did I go last time? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The bucket's still there, so let's Wolf take the bucket with us again. Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. Right, I'm still gonna go. Stanley touched the bucket tightly to his chest. Yes. And entered the door on his left. Gonna do that. I'm trying to remember what I haven't done, what route I haven't taken. So let's have a look. A large room, lots of boxes, stairs, something to do with stairs, and somewhere both red and blue. I need to remember somewhere red and blue. I also realise that um, I was going to try and memorise the key code. I've forgotten what it is. 2458? I want to say it's 2458 or something like that. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I just realised I've done both up and downstairs, haven't I? Holding the bucket. So I should go through the right door. Let's follow this through. Manager's office, Stanley was once again Isn't stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed no. by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken Two, down into an eight, emotional dumpster four, fire, five. if not for the soothing... But Stanley there guessed the go. correct code by sheer luck. <laughs> was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. There's a little gap there. I wonder if you can go down that gap. I need to find alternative routes now. Because I feel like I've... I sort of feel like I've actually used most of the main routes, but there's all this permutation thing going on, isn't there? You know, with bucket, without bucket, all that kind of the stuff. Elevator raced down, but I've also towards an run fit. into that situation of it would be I've done the same thing more than once, together, and it's not for the changed ever so slightly. Him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. I'm actually losing track the of the permutations. Everything will be fine. Actually losing track of the permutations. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. So I've done the escape. And I've done that. As well. Alright, I'm going to do the escape again. Just because I think I need to start taking the right door. Escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. Oh no! But that takes me through the thing with the female narrator, doesn't it? It's not a swift death. Oh. <laughs> I'm really unsure now. Because what I haven't done is, while holding the bucket, come back and... But of course, Stanley and the bucket thought better of it and realised they simply had too much to live for. Exactly. I haven't actually done that before. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. We know. We, we know. 
We know, we know, we know, we know. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. Can't walk over the edge. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Everything will be fine. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? Yes. What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? Hold things. These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Will you no, stop saying I have a feeble mind? He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. I feel like um, what I need to start doing is drawing a map of these permutations. It's a bit like but here was the proof. when the Bandersnatch the came out on Controls labelled with emotions. Happy. Or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it and monitored I remember and commanded on, from this um, very place. Reddit, I think and it was, the there was a whole bunch of people were drawing maps Stanley of the different permutations. Would never again exert its terrible power over Incomplete. another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the Bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, oh. and the bucket made a sassy comment Can about taking there? down There's the system. There. There's a button up there. One, two. Is there a three? Three. There's a five. Where's a four? Is that a four up there? Ah, uh, that's number four up there. And I can't get through because that gate's closed. There's a gate right here. Arse. Surely there's a way up there. That's the thing I can't trust about this. Is there probably isn't, but it's probably making me feel like there is. Why am I enjoying this? <laughs> what kind of masochist am I? Like birds. Right. Last, no, I'm turn it off. I turned it on last time, didn't I? So I'm just going to turn it off. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes. That's it, I've won. Yes, they have done it. Stanley and the bucket uh, had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy. Duck it out this way, freed themselves yeah, from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Okay, Freedom was now it. mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned. That sounds quite cool. But it was cool. one they'd lived together. What movie would I do that? With one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and... Well, oh. wait. The what door was stopped. Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room lingering in uncertainty until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face this building did not want the bucket to leave even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket needed the soothing warmth of the bucket and go to any lengths not to part with the bucket 
No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Yes. Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Is this where we make a joke about kicking the bucket? <laughs> okay. So that's a different route through again. And a different narration. Right. Because that was so quick, I'm going to do gone. one more run. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go take to the, the bucket meeting. again. Stanley picked up the bucket. Right, we got the bucket. He'd never be alone again. Not true. Gonna go this way, but no, we're gonna go through the right door this time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his. This was not the direct way to the meeting room. Okay. But Stanley had felt the bucket <laughs> calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Have had I brought the bucket, the bucket in here before? Be was this better than the meeting room? I actually yes, can't remember now. To himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. <laughs> Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. I have kind of been here before because that's where I plummet to my death, isn't it? There's that thing about building the bridge there, so there's still that to do. But also, I need to find a room with lots of boxes. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. That's the maintenance room. Uh, sorry, meeting room through there, so I don't want to go there. I want to go this way. Stanley, I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. That's new. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around <laughs> everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because like that's what fans want nature. from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. <laughs> Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Okay, let's follow the adventure line. Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? <laughs> oh, and it played some silly music as well. Every time I think I basically hit every variation on a theme, major variation on a theme anyway. Now this is what the story <laughs> is all about. New. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. No. No. I'm only doing this to try and get that extra figurine. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This it's is the bucket, bucket Destroyer. No. No. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, no, it no, also no, was no, not no, in the original no, game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Down there. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. And turn it off. 
Alright, why well, don't we turn now it off? To me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can it's not working. Say, it's not letting you do it. One personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters. Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you'd see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The Bucket's moving. Not exactly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. If I click... Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable game. Try. the adventure line or the bucket destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and go. I mean, the game's not even letting me do it, so. There's not much I can do about it. I've got no hands anymore. The bucket destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvellous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you, all of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. There was a big black square behind me. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm I'm quite thrown by that because I really wasn't expecting it to be that incredibly different. I am so massively losing track of the routes through this, but I'm going to carry on trying to do the thing I promised myself I'm going to do, which is not keep going, not cram this. I'm just going to do a little dip in. I did two runs this time because I realised that the one run I'd taken wasn't really going to be that fruitful, and that looked about right. So I think I'm going to leave it here. And next time I'm going to explore the right door while holding the bucket a bit more. Because there is the thing of, should I be exploring all of those routes again without the bucket? Because the fact that we've got the new content in here, including the bucket on the plinth, if I ignore the bucket and go down some of the routes I've already been down before, is that different again? I... <laughs> I'm also trying to decide, it's not that time yet, it really isn't that time yet, but I'm also trying to decide at what point do I accept I've run through this enough and have enough hours in this under my belt, having experienced enough novel situations that it's worth me starting to look online and see if anyone has done things like produce a tree or a map or whatever of all the permutations and things like that and to try and get a sense of you know like I'm going to assume that there are there are a finite number of routes through this because unless there's some kind of ridiculous um, uh, AI, lang you know, large language model, um, on the fly voice generation thing going on, which seems highly unlikely. Um, there's only going to be a finite amount of recording of voice acting will have happened. So presumably there are, there can only be so many lines can be spoken. And if I take recorded spoken lines as a metric for how much of the game I have uncovered or how much of the content I've uncovered. It strikes me that there is a finite amount. There has to be a finite amount. And I don't know that I should be viewing it as how much of the dialogue have I caused to be played, but I am intrigued. I feel like there are a finite number of routes through this because of the finite amount of recorded spoken dialogue there must be. And like, how far off it am I? 
I don't know how long I've been playing at this point. I, I feel I'm maybe about three and a half, four hours in or something like that. It feels about right. Um, and allowing for moments like this where I'm just stood talking to myself. Um, I'm curious. I haven't even looked at um, how long to beat to see what the uh, times are on there regarding uncovering most of the roots or something like that. That must be a thing. Maybe I'll do that because I should be able to look at that without actually needing to spoil myself in any way, shape or form. Because the thing is, is I'm, I'm mostly expecting that there's no conclusion to this. And it strikes me that there can't be, there won't be, there isn't going to be a conclusion to this. There won't be an end game, as it were. Um, but I imagine there has to be something in here where it does keep track of just how many paths have you gone down. And so someone must have worked out how many paths there are and how long on average it's going to take to uncover all of those paths. I'm hoping that maybe how long to beat has uh, that information in it. Maybe I should look at that because I, I can look at that without spoiling myself. That's, that's a thought, right? <laughs> the more I play this, the more confused I am and the more delighted I am and the more annoyed I am that it's taken me this long to actually get around to playing it in any way, shape or form. But I'm also kind of glad I left it 10 years to play it because here I am playing it in VR. And I feel like it's a special thing to experience this for the very first time in VR. Anyway, from this dip into the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition, that's right, yeah, in VR. Thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.